Okay, so in the previous video I showed you how to use the Pro MIDI library. There's also another library for uh, handling MIDI messages. It works almost the same, and I think this one's probably still being maintained while the other one, Pro MIDI, is, is not. But they both work. Um, this one's called RW MIDI, and it works almost the same. Uh, basically, you set up some object that's going to receive input and an output. I'll just comment this out just so you can see, but it's uh, an output object would look like this. So you're able to both receive and send MIDI messages with either of these libraries, but most of the time we're probably receiving. So um, I'm just going to say the input is equal to uh, MIDI, and the way we set this up is to basically tell it which device we want. Um, so get devices, get input devices gives us a list and here we're just going to say well, let's receive from the first one. And you know each of these modules has their own way of doing this stuff and really the easiest thing is just to look in the uh, examples. This one doesn't, this library doesn't really have any examples which is kind of annoying. But um, it starts out by giving you plugs just like the other one did. So I have my empty draw loop here but uh, I have um, plugs that are already set up. Note on received is one of them and it, and it has a note object as the argument just like the other one did. And um, we can do pretty much the same thing. Just say print um, a note on message was received with a pitch of uh, you can see that even, even the method names are the same. So it's really very similar. Um, and we'll do note get velocity. So this should work already. I have a MIDI controller connected and uh, there we can see it's almost identical to how the other one worked. So um, we can also have a note on. It, the only difference is before you had to actually set up these plugs and here they're already set up for you. So uh, another one that's useful is um, I told you in the other video that there's, there's both uh, note messages and controller messages and so if we want to basically receive controller messages which would be like these uh, knobs maybe or pitch bend sometimes th some of these controllers have levers uh, and sometimes they're configurable so that even the, these buttons could be sending uh, controller messages so a control message would probably have um, let's say Well, first of all, there's there's a number to the control message. So here's the uh, controller number that was received. So that way you can differentiate between uh, one of those knobs and another of those knobs. And then there's the value. So it's not like a note message where it actually has a, a pitch and a velocity. These are basically just which knob was pressed or uh, which knob was turned, which slider was twisted, um, or which button was pressed, and what was the value. So I don't have anything right now that has knobs on it, but uh, I do have some buttons that are controllers. And if you look there, it's just a button. So it's saying button 104 was pressed down, so it's 127 is the highest number it can go, and then it was released, so zero is the lowest, meaning that I pushed it down and then I let it up. But if you had a knob, it may show any number between zero and 127 here. So that's how you could uh, respond to um, twisting of knobs and things like that. Um, so that's how you use this RW MIDI uh, library. Here's where you download it from, and uh, he has like very little documentation in one example, but uh, what I just showed you is definitely enough to get you going.